once again to this a beautiful evening for the children of God. God has multiplying of his grace and his love and his mercy and his blessing in our life that he is giving unto us this beautiful time we come together in his presence. So for this evening, yes, the word of God say in Matthew chapter 20, Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. Wherefore you do or three are get together in my name, I am there in the midst of you. Today, we all are the children of God. We are get together in none any other name, but we are get together in the name of our Lord Christ Jesus and in the name of our Father God. So it is no doubt in the midst of us, the presence of our Lord Christ Jesus is with us. It is not important to get together of many number of the people, but it is important that wherefore we are two or three, it is sufficient for us if the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ is in the midst of us. It is much more better than get together of many thousands, thousands of the number. So today, let us all be the children of God we are giving of our heart. Let us praise in his name. Let us lift his name in high and let us bring all the honor to his name and let us worship together in his name. For this evening, our Sir Lung Lang, he will be lead in our service. Now the time is for like to hand over in his hand. Sir, please you take time and please carry forward. Okay, before we proceed our program, uh, I just want to ask about uh, our speaker. Who, who will be the speaker? All right, in regarding to this, uh, in every absence, uh, it is the responsibility to fill up today from my side because All right. we have no javelin so far. So just okay. I am the gear digger. So I will be full up now. Uh, don't worry for that. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, Sablugo Jemesiki. 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 Yeah, Jemesiki. Nice to see you again in this uh, very evening time. So, in Same the name yeah. of Jesus, I greet you, all of you. May God bless us together by having this uh, Zoom worship service. So in order to proceed our on, worship me? program huh? for the opening prayer, I would ask Sister Jolly Pungshok for the opening prayer, please. Okay. Uh, let's uh, bow down. Let me pronounce the prayer. Almighty God, thank you for your care and protection. Lord Father, I pray to continue all this in our life, each and every one. Father Lord, we are here to worship in this hour. Lord Father, and I pray, we are committed here to study the word of God in this institution. Lord Father, whatever we are learning and we are doing, it magnify in your name. It not please to man. And Father Lord, I pray, in this meeting, in your servant, who is going to bring the word of God. Father Lord, you guide him, you give him a good knowledge, and your Holy Spirit be upon him, so that whatever he is going to speak, it 
to be done according to your will. And also I pray in this hour, whatever we are going to conduct, Lord Father, it leads to you. Loving God, thank you for your unconditional love to each and everyone in our daily life. Lord Father, and I ask your presence in this meeting till we have we are going to have this program. All this I pray in the name of Father in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sister. And we have a great singer in our midst. He is none other than Brother Bomoy from Nagaland. And we call just Kristen. So I will ask the Brother Kristen to lead us to our worship prayer. Yes, I mean. Please go ahead. Okay, praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. How many of you are happy today? Praise the Lord. We are right to happy. Yeah. Uh, we, are blessed, we are blessed by God, you know? Yes, if yes. you feel like you are not blessed by God, please you go and stand in the cemetery and you will know the blessings in your life. And if you feel that you are not blessed, please go and do and visit in prison then you will see the freedom of your life so today i want to see there is call coming ringing over the restless wear so we all know the song let us do it together Send the light, 
send a light. They are scared of you, but I cloud above. Send a light. Send a light. Send a light. The blessing goes by light. That is sign forever. Send a light, the blessing goes by light, that is sign forever, that is sign forever. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you so much, brother Christine. For your wonderful song. Yeah, before our speaker, it take time, I just want to introduce our speaker. He is none other than he is our discipleship theological seminary principal. And uh, his name is Dr. Victor Bushok. Our principal and Mrs. Jolly Bushok. Both are husband and wife, and they have uh, three beautiful daughters, and they are five members in their family. And Dr. Victor Pungsok and me are same village, that is called uh, Champung Village. Yeah, uh, around 150 households we are living in the village. It's a hilly, hilly place. And yeah, I just say we are one village. And Dr. Buso, uh, Victor, he helped me a lot in my studies, during my studies, and he encouraged me a lot. And I just want to thank him. And we are very blessed that he allow us to do this uh, teaming course. So we, on behalf of the student, we just want to say thank you once again. So now let's welcome to our speaker, Victor Pungshok. Take your time, sir. Uh, praise God. I thank you. I really, really very happy in this evening and I'm so regretted for our pastor alone. If he come and if he speak in this evening, he will bring a very excellency topic and sermon and it will be much more blessed for each and every one of us. Because at the 11th hour, Pastor Alung has in already for to bring the word of God, but at the 11th hour, this incident is come to heaven and he is compulsory to attend on his believer funeral service. So it is, yes, you and I also, same things, if this con condition is on you, you also must escape and must attend on that program. So Pastor Alung is in that condition. And also this privilege and opportunity, I don't want to pass to any one of you at the 11th hour because we are taking recordings and we are giving record in our media. YouTube and the Facebook and WhatsApp. I therefore each and every one of you would like to give you the time to prepare of your message and with your level best to bring in our worship, your good and excellency message. I therefore don't like to give, don't like to pass of this time to anyone. Therefore, just I myself is yes a uh, uh, principal or director in this institution, 
doctors, I am surgery on my surgery for this opportunity. So I really just in one way, I'm so happy, thankful for this opportunity. But in one side for thinking of Pastor alone, I'm so upset. However, all the circumstances that is come to heaven, not according to our purpose, but according to our almighty God, our Father God has brought all the circumstances and the purpose of our almighty God is more than better than our purpose. We human beings may be blind in many things, but the Lord our God may be blind in another way. So the plan of our Father God is more than better than our plan. So my dear brother and sister, yes, we are the child of God. Let us always give thanks to our God for every circumstances. Yes, the Bible say in First Thessalonica chapter five, verses uh, 16, that pray without ceasing and, and give thanks for every circumstances, for every circumstances. And just all this let us remember in our life. And when we look back in our behind, and when we look out in our forward, and when we look around in our surrounding, there is nothing to be rejoice and there is nothing to be happy in our own life because comparing with many other people who are great people, who are educated people, who are intellectual people and who are richest and capitalist people and they are multiplying in their business and they are doing the worldly wonderful life and the splendid, a very splendid life, they are leading of their life. So compare with them, nothing to be proud in our life and nothing to be rejoiced and nothing to be uh, good in our life. But however, we will say always, let us be rejoiced. Why? Because yes, the Saint Paul has said that I have been crucified with Christ the life I now live, it is I live in Christ Jesus. I, I have no longer lived myself, but I live with Christ Jesus. So today, even though we are living in such a very worse life, we are living none, any with others, but we are living only with our Christ Jesus. Yes, we are the family of Christ Jesus and living in Christ Jesus and Christ living in us. So it is only the way to be joy. It is only the way to be happy. We also always sing the song. The song is Jesus in the family, happy, happy home. Like that. Jesus in the family, happy, happy home. So Jesus, not in the family, what the family it may be. Jesus not in the life, what may be of that life. Even though he may be a very rich, even though he may have a very good position, land, car, or home, house, property, all things may be very rich. But if he don't have Jesus, it's so pity on his life. For the rich man, for those who do not believe Jesus, and for mm. those who do not have Jesus, is so pity on them. But for us, yes, Bor has said it is the power of God. In the power of God, God made us to be rejoiced, even though we are in empty hands. We have nothing. We are in empty hands, but however, rejoice in our heart. The joy is multiplying. Why? Because the joy of the Lord is in our heart. Because the peace and the love 
and the mercy, the grace, the beautiful life of Christ Jesus is multiplying in our life, then why should not, why should not? We must be happy. We must be so happy. We must be so rejoiced. The rejoice, the peace, and the beautiful life that our almighty God has given unto us. This is the time, this is the day that the Lord has made with our life. This is the day that the Lord has made with our life to be glad and to be joy. Let us be rejoiced because God is blessed unto us. The blessing of God is with us because we see the blessing of God. We see the beautiful life of God. So today we are in healthy. Today there are so many people who are rich people. They are not well. They are not good, beautiful life in their family. Therefore, there is no peace. There is no joy in their family life. So for today, if we are the follower of Christ Jesus, and if for we are the disciple of Christ Jesus, and what the Christ have said to his disciple, what they have to do that. So we will talk about what the disciple of Christ have to do that. So we will talk about you here in John chapter 13, verses 34 to 35. For Jesus said, a new commandment I give to you that to love one another Yes, I have love to you, that if you also love one another, by this all will know that you are my disciple, if you love for one another. Okay, so for our Lord Jesus Christ say to his disciple, what his disciple would like to do, would have to do is, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another. Yes, I love unto you. So yes, we are the disciple of Christ Jesus. This is the command of our Lord Christ Jesus. To love one another is the command of our Lord Christ Jesus. If it is the command from the prime minister, or if it is the command from the president, or if it is the command of the chief minister, we won't regard and we won't respect and we won't honor of that command. But this command is we receive from none any others. We receive only from our savior Christ Jesus. And this command is love one another. Let us love one another. And yes, Christ is love unto us. If we love one another, then what Jesus said, by this you will know you are my disciple. You are none any others. You are my disciple. For love one another. This is the first important in one life and in the community of the Christian, and in the church of Christ, and in the family of Christ Jesus. If do not love each other in the family, how the family become a beautiful family? If one and one is not love on another in the community, how the community and how the union or how the organization, or how the society, it will become a beautiful society and organization. So let us look forward. So the family, the organization, and the society who are not love each other, they are not belong from God, but they are belong to from others, and they are belong to from this other world and they are belong to from the Sidon because Sidon is, he is the author for jealousy to one another 
and Sadan is the author that do hatred one another, and Sadan is the author to lie one another, and Sadan is the author to make a division and to fight one another and to hatred and to bring this unity in the society, organization, church, family. This is the plan and this is a scheme from the Sidan. So my dear brother and sister, for our Lord Jesus Christ has said, that is our Lord Christ Jesus is, he himself is love. Love is the sources from our Lord Christ Jesus. He is the sources of the love. In his love, there is a beautiful life. In his love, there is a joy. In his love, there is a peace. So we are one of the disciples of Christ Jesus. Our main purpose and our main concern is to live in the joy of our Lord Christ Jesus, to live in his blessed life, to stay in his mercy and grace. So for doing so, Christ has said, you are none any others. You are only my disciple. You will be known. You are my disciple for doing so. If you love one another, you will be know that you are my disciple. You are my family. You are my society. You are in my church. And you are in my people. And you are in my land, in my kingdom, in my glory. So for Lord Christ has said to us, so my dear brother and sister, love is come not from the world, but love is we are taking and copying from our Lord Christ Jesus. Now in examinations of the love today in the world, the love of Christ and the love of the world, when we examine in the world, there are so many kind of love are there and every universal are concept on the focus of the love. So every religions are teasing love. It, love is teasing. And love is teasing by every religion. But however, the teasing of our Lord Jesus Christ focus on the love is, it is a unique love. It is quite peculiar and different from the love of the world. The love of the world is a surfaceness love. For you love only those who love to you. And for you will favor only those who favor to you. And you love only your brother and sister and mother and father. But the love of Jesus Christ is love to everyone equally. He loves to everyone. Love is from God. So it is a peculiar love. So it is a unique love. So through the love of Christ Jesus, when he was crucified on the cross, many are mocking to him and condemned to say, he is the one that who say that, I will build up in three days the house of the Lord. And he can save to others. And he cannot save himself. He is the one who opened the blind people. He is the one that who opened the deaf. He is the one who chased out the demon. Who is the one that who said that I will build up the church in three days. Now he will build up the church. Let him come down and let him fight and let him save so that we will believe to him. But what Jesus say, Jesus say, Father, they not know what they do, forgive to them. What a love, what a unique love. What a wonderful love. What a quite peculiar love for our Lord Christ Jesus is. Even though his opposition, even though his enemy are mocking over him in his agony on the cross, 
in his painful hour, mocking and condemn to him, but also he loves to them and he pray for them and he pronounce to them, Father, they not know what they do, forgive to them. So this is the love of our Lord Christ Jesus. The love of our Lord Christ Jesus is very much unique and very much different. It is very much beautiful. It is too much beautiful. We, the child of a living God, we, the servant of Christ Jesus, we, the disciple and the follower of him, we will never, never get there for telling of the goodness of our Lord Jesus Christ. We will always speak about him. We will always tell about him because we hear and we know too much about him. His goodness is too much to us. We will always waste of our time to tell about his goodness. We will always to tell about his beautiful dwells of our time. We are ready. We are much more ready. That's why the Apostle Paul, what he say, he say that I am not the same for the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ because this is the power of God. I am not a same. Why? Why should we be a same? for the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, because we are saved through this gospel. And why should we be a same? If you do not love to God, those who do not love to God, those who do not love of his savior Christ Jesus, they may be a same for his gospel, telling about and praising about all of his blessing, all of his goodness, all of his love, all of his mercy, they may be a same for those who are not love to his master, but those who love for his, ma for his master, they will never be a same. They will never be, never be, never be discouraged and disgraced for telling about to him. For he is good too much. For I have seen of his goodness too much. I will always sound about the beautiful and the goodness of my master, of my savior, Lord Christ Jesus. We are ready. We are ready to tell about him. We are ready about to preach him. We are ready about to follow him. The cross is the ugly cross. The world are despised about his cross. The world are despised and hate about his name. The world are disliked to him. But for me and for you, for unto us, it is the most attractive, most attractive for you and for me. We ever want to tell about his goodness. We, want, we ever want to witness about the cross of Christ Jesus. We stay to here and we look forward and we close of our journey. We cross the journey up and down of our life. And sometimes we face difficulty and sometimes we face too much heavy of our burden. Sometimes our work is too much labors and getting tired. But still when we think about for our Lord Christ Jesus, when he is suffered for us and for you, how much that he is loved to us. And we look forward and we always to say that praise the Lord. May your name be magnifying to God to be the glory forever. The Lord, my God, is so wonderful for me. The Lord, my God, is so good to me. There is none any other more than attractive for me except the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. It is for me. It is for me more than enough, more than good for me. I love of that. I like of that. 
And yes, apostrophe for say, I will die on the gospel. I will live on the gospel. For me, to live is in Christ, to die is gain. So for the poor, to live is to work and to fellowship in Christ Jesus. But also he is never worried about, even though the situation has come around, round about to him, and the situation is struck to him, the difficulty situation, the situation of the enemy, the situation of the troubleness, the situation of the persecution. Sometimes Paul was stunned and left to that. Sometimes Paul is beaten with a stick, with a rod, and left to that. Sometimes Paul was bound with the chain and throw it into the prison. And sometimes Paul is just beaten and just giving many same and laugh and mocking to him. But however, for, for Paul said that, I am not a same for the gospel of Christ Jesus. I love for my master. I love to him. So for me, only the gospel, gospel is only the way for my life to take to the beautiful life. So how much beautiful of that life and how much beautiful of Apostle Paul is. So my dear brother and sister in our life, the most beautiful life is life in Christ Jesus and Christ lives in us. It is the most beautiful life. Yes, we are the child of the living God. We must all the time, must love to our Lord Christ Jesus. Yes, one more thing that I would like to say to you, just for five minutes. Yes, Jesus said that in Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 and 40, what he said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. This is the first important. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first great commandment. And the second is like it, the new commandment that Jesus is given to us. You shall love your neighbor, yes, yourself, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophet. So to love to God is the first important in our life. So we must love to our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our strength. When we love to our God, Automatically that we can love to our neighbors. Automatically that we can love to our brethren. When you cannot love to God, you can never, never love to your brethren. You can never, never able to fulfill the commandment what Jesus Christ has given to you. For Jesus Christ has given the great commandment to us is that you love one another. Yes, I love unto you. This is the new commandment. But if we cannot love to our Lord, our Christ Jesus, we can never love to our brethren. For in here, what our Lord Jesus say is, if anyone say, I love God and hate his brother, he is a liar. He who does not love his brother whom he has seen how can he love God whom he has not seen? We know that our brother, our sister, our brethren, we have seen in our eyes. And if we cannot love to them, how can we love the Lord our God whom we have not seen in our eyes? And in the love your God with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your soul. If you cannot love to your God, how can you love to your brother and your sister? That is the biggest question today in us. So yes, we are the follower. Yes, we are the disciple. Yes, we are the family of Christ Jesus. We must follow after Christ Jesus. So yes, Christ love unto us. 
we also must obey the word of God. We must love one another. So if you love Christ Jesus, if we love one another, then we must give one another our cooperation. We must extend our help one another. You should not overlook of your brother problem. You should have understand of your brother, your brethren problem. What is today your brother problem? And what is today your brethren problem? And you should look for that. And you should have to understand. But today, there are so many people. We all are speaking that let us love one another. Let us love one another and we never follow of our work we are always we are always in our own place okay we are always in our own pleasure we are living in a very surface life so this is not this is not the this is not the love the love comes from god if we love one another then we have to see her we have to abide in our work to her that is love is suffer long one another and love is kind one another. And love does not envy one another. Love does not berate itself one another. And love is not buffet up one another. Love is long suffering each other. What is your brother problem? And what is your brother burden? And what is your brother requirement? All this look once another and give cooperation each other. And if we read to her, love does not behave rudely and love does not seek its own benefit, its own glory. And love does not make a pro work. Love does not make angry. Love does not make a very bad sense to any other. Love does not think no evil to any other. Love does not rejoice in the iniquity. Love does not rejoice in the iniquity. And love does not, rejo love does not rejoice overcoming by the wrong way, by the evil way, by the iniquity. But love is always rejoice in the truth receive in the truth, getting in the truth, win in the truth, respect in the truth, overcome in the truth, that is love. So love always like of that. So love bear all things, love believe all things, love hope all things, love and do all things. So my dear brother and sister, Yes, we all are follower of Christ Jesus. The new commandment Christ has given unto us is that we are to love one another. So to love one another is, it is the will of Christ Jesus and the will and the desire of Christ Jesus is. Yes, in the Old Testament, some has said, in Psalm number 133, how good and pleasant, how good and beautiful, the brethren are lived in unity. The brethren are lived in the love of Christ Jesus. How beautiful of this life is today in your church, in your society, in your organization, in your community, how that you are following of your work and how that you are taking of your step. Is really your church is based in the love of God? 
and every believer are looking in the love of the Lord Jesus Christ? And is the believer is respect to the pastor? And is the believer is respect to the leader of the church, elder of the church? If the pastor is love and concern for all the believer, and all the believer are in unity in your church, or what condition your church is today? If your church is not having obsessed the spirit of the unity and the spirit of the love of Christ Jesus, look to Jesus. Let us have four day, five day fasting. Let the love of Christ Jesus may be rooted in the church. And let us base our love in, our love is in the love of Christ Jesus. Our church is, foundation is based on Christ Jesus. So without the love of Christ Jesus, all things can be damaged. All things can be spoiled. But when the love of Christ Jesus is based in the foundation of our church, even though many people may be jealous and may try to be destroyed of our church, no matter, it will be multiplied in the will of God. So you all are the pastor, Pastor Amit, Pastor Wilson, and Pastor Yesudas, Pastor Rajan Kaju, Yes. And Pastor Salim, Pastor Samarban, and Pastor Bebular. We all are a pastor, Pastor Aksi David, and Pastor David Tama. We all are a pastor, and the rest of us also evangelists. We are the missionary, we are the theologians. And Pastor Rajan, I, I don't like to skip of your name. Uh, so Pastor Rajan is a great pastor, Rajan Thabar. Yes, because of your video is off, I try to skip it, your name. <laughs> Sorry for that. Yes. So Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. So today, let us have a big challenge that in our church, try to be root, root that the root is to be found with the love of Christ Jesus and to carry forward our responsibility and so that the blessing of our almighty God and the multiplications in our church may be multiplying, enrich and increase in our church. So the love of God, the blessing of God may be each and every one of you. Amen. Thank you, sir, for your powerful message. May the love of God fill your family and God may make a channel of blessing for many people in the days to come. As Jesus said, love one another. Let us love one another in the days to come. Okay, for closing song, I would ask brother Christian, please take your time. Oh, praise the Lord, and thank you so much, sir. Uh, whenever our sir speak, I'm satisfied with his sermon. Uh, let us sing together. The joy of the Lord is my, my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord. Is my strength the joy of the Lord? Is my strength a giving living water? I trust no more. A giving living water? I trust no more. A giving living water? I trust no more. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace. The fruit of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, the fruit of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Devil does not like it, loud ha ha. Devil does not like it, 
loud ha ha devil don't so like loud ha ha the joy of the lord is my strength 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 in giving living water I trust no more in giving living water. I trust no more in giving living water. I trust no more the joy of the Lord is my strength. The fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace. The fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace. The fruit of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Devil does not like it. Loud, ha, ha. Devil does not like it. Loud, ha, ha. Devil does not like it. Loud, ha, ha. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Praise the Lord. Okay, now for the closing prayer, I would ask uh, Brother David Dama. Brother David, please go ahead. Okay, praise, uh, praise the Lord. Uh, so here it's raining. So my uh, network will be poor, I think. I hope uh, you uh, you all hearing my audio clear. So let us begin with uh, prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your presence, for your protection, and for your love. Thank you for everything that you have done for us today and for our life. We thank you, Lord, for the fellowship and unity that we enjoy in your presence. Thank you, Lord, for showing us many ways and can work together to preserve and extend this fellowship only through the power of your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for, for the wonderful word of God that's our pastor, our doctor, sir, give us and give him the heavenly wisdom bless in his ministry and in his family and in everything that he does and bless today's leader worshiper and every one of us lord father we keep everything we surrender everything and everyone in your name may we be filled with the knowledge of your will in all the wisdom and spirit understanding and may we bear fruit in every good work as we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, all of you. May God bless us together. Now, over to our principal. <laughs>